square root of infinity. So this one's a little bit of a harder question, maybe the college level. So we're gonna do that. So initially, we're gonna, question four is the fact that if you choose a number and you multiply it by itself, you end up with the square of the number or you have squared the number. So in this case, if you, infinity is on a number, it's just a way of expressing something. So infinity times infinity equals infinity. Basically, it's just infinity times infinity or infinity squared is infinity. So if you want to square root infinity, you're kind of going to get up, uh, get the result with, result of infinity. Um, but we have a mathematical way of proving that, so we're going to use limits to do that. So we're going to say that the limit of x as it approaches infinity is equals to the square root of x because that's our function square root, is equals to infinity okay So then we're going to say that the limit of x as it approaches a of a function the power of b because that initializes 1 over 2 is equals to to the limit of to the limit of x as it approaches a of x to the power of b with the exceptions of intermediates if you guys don't know what those are I'm just going to write them down for you there are seven intermediates I believe so first intermediate we have is I'm just gonna write that down in blue so basically all the like final answers are in, in blue and all the questions are in, in red and the important like stuff is highlighted is in red so once again black is just for solving the question blue is for any of the equations and red is for final answers so any of the intermediates are positive or negative infinity over positive and negative infinity. Then we have if zero is being divided by zero, then we have zero is to the power of zero. There are four more, I think. Yeah. So we have if one means the power of positive or negative infinity then if we have positive or negative infinity being dotted with zero oh. that is a dot zero then we have if infinity to the power of zero, we have infinity minus infinity. So 
so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven intermediates, right over here. Okay. So next, we're gonna, from the previous, we've established that from the previous. Over here, um, scroll down. That, we're gonna square root this whole thing. That's Equal, square root that, and then the limit of x as it approaches a, x as it approaches a, of x. Next, we're going to apply the common limit, so... Common limit rule. Scroll down. Which basically states that the limit of x as it approaches infinity of x is equal to infinity. To infinity. Okay, then we can continue on saying that basically based on this equation over here, so we said that the square root of a limit of x as it approaches a of x, that's our function, and over here, the limit of x as it approaches infinity of x is equal to infinity. So basically, we're going to replace this over here and that equals to the square root of infinity, which if we apply the okay, if we apply the infinity property apply the infinity property, which basically states that infinity to raise to a consonant is equal to infinity, and over here we have infinity as raised to the power of 1 over 2, because the square root is basically uh, raised to the power of 1 over 2, and that is how we get infinity. So the, to sum it up, the square root of infinity is equal to infinity. Thank you.